back students to the new session we are studying chapter 1 number system this is video 10 in the previous uh, session you learned how to represent irrational number on the number line and then if you remember i told you to learn few identities expansion identities monomial into binomial how you distribute that monomial with the binomial two terms of binomial and then second expansion binomial into binomial three types one all four terms are different type b first term same second term opposite and type c both the terms are same or we also call it square of a binomial today we are going to see or use this expansion identities in our sums okay but before moving to that expansion few things some children i don't know whether they are doing it correctly or not so let's recall few concepts that you have already learned it's about integers minus 2 plus 5 minus 3 plus minus 7 minus 7 Minus ten, fourteen minus minus three, fourteen plus minus twenty. All right, and here this is sum. I'm going to find the sum here, and here I'm going to find the product of same integers minus two and five. I'm going to multiply minus three and minus seven. I'm going to multiply minus seven. And minus ten, it is minus ten. Okay, then fourteen into three I'll put. Okay, fourteen into minus twenty. Please pay attention, children. Okay, now this is addition. We have two numbers. If you want, you can put the bracket. In fact, we are going to remove the bracket. The first integer is minus two, which is negative. Second integer is five, which is positive. And we have to do the sum. First, you open the brackets. So that is minus two plus five. If you open the bracket, minus will remain. Now, is it multiplication? The operation on the two numbers. Check the operation that is to be performed. Kya ye minus two or five ke bich multiplication ho raha hai? Answer hai na. Right? The answer is no. So. It means addition. It means it is addition. अब जब addition करना हो तो straight away add नहीं करना है. Either add भी करना होता है या subtract भी करना होता है. All right. Once again, the two integers are minus two and pi. Ask yourself whether the operation to be performed on these two numbers is multiplication. You got the answer. No. When it's not multiplication, definitely it is addition. But that doesn't mean you have to add the two numbers. Sometimes you have to add. Sometimes you have to subtract. So here, add करना है या subtract करना है. That we have to decide. That we decide from the signs. See the signs of the two numbers. Two carries minus sign. Five carries plus sign. Correct. So signs of the two numbers are same. They are different. Yes, they are different. When the signs are different. आपको सब्ट्रैक करना है इफ द साइन सेम आपको वो दो नंबर का एडिशन करना है वंस आई रिपीट इफ द साइन ऑफ बोथ द नंबर आर सेम यू हैव टू एड दो नंबर एंड इफ द साइन आर अपोजिट यू हैव टू सब्ट्रैक दो नंबर लेट्स सी द साइन इट्स नॉट मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट मीन्स एडिशन सो सी द साइन साइन आर डिफरेंट सो सब्ट्रैक करो बड़ा नंबर फाइव है छोटा नंबर टू है So five minus two, that is equal to three. Now plus three or minus three? That is a question mark. क्या लिखूँ? Plus three है या minus three? So out of the two number, find out which is bigger. The bigger is five, and five carries plus sign. So this answer is plus three. So what is minus two plus five? Plus three. When it is plus You may write the sign, may not write the sign. It will mean the same. Next, 
या टू ब्रैकेट साधे सो ओपन द ब्रैकेट ये आगे प्लस ही समझो सो दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री प्लस माइनस डिफरेंट साइंस बिकम्स माइनस डिफरेंट साइंस बिकम्स माइनस एंड सेम साइंस बिकम प्लस एंड देन सेव वेल फर्स्ट यू आस्क योरसेल्फ व्हेदर द टू नंबर्स दैट यू सी इज मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑपरेशन बीइंग परफॉर्म्ड ऑन देम ये दोनों पे मल्टीप्लिकेशन हो रहा है द आंसर इज नो दैट मींस एडिशन एडिशन मतलब ऐड नहीं कर देना है आइदर ऐड भी करना हो सकता है या सबट्रैक्ट भी करना हो सकता है तो यहां ऐड करेंगे या सबट्रैक्ट करेंगे तो आप साइंस देखो टू डिसाइड दैट यू सी द साइंस माइनस माइनस दोनों नंबर कैरी सेम साइन सो आपको ऐड करना है कौन से दो नंबर को ऐड करना है थ्री और सेवन को वॉट इज थ्री प्लस सेवन टेन नाव यू हैव टू डिसाइड द साइन नाव यू हैव टू डिसाइड द साइन इज इट प्लस टेन और माइनस टेन तो यू सी द बिगर नंबर ऑब्जर्व द बिगर नंबर द बिगर नंबर इज सेवन और सेवन का साइन है माइनस सो आंसर इज माइनस टेन बट माइनस is that clear to you next tell me now this yeah one bracket is there so we'll open the bracket this is equal to minus 7 or minus 10 yes the two numbers are minus 7 and minus 10 is the operation on this two numbers to be performed multiplication no that means addition that doesn't mean straight away you add yes you see their signs minus minus same signs so what you will do with these two numbers add them so let's add n and 7 total is 17 now you have to decide sign for it is it plus 17 or minus 17 to aapko bade number ko dekho bada number 10 hai uski sign aage minus hai so this will be minus 17 got it chal next 14 ya yeah, yahan ek bracket hai so remove the bracket first so this is 14 माइनस माइनस सेम साइन प्लस हो जाता है सो दिस इज प्लस थ्री नाउ डिसाइड द ऑपरेशन आपको दो नंबर मिले आफ्टर रिमूविंग द ब्रैकेट 14 एंड 3 आर दे कैरिंग सेम साइन यस प्लस प्लस सो यू हैव टू ऐड ऐड का मतलब स्ट्रेट अवे ऐड मत कर देना ऐड एडिशन भी हो सकता है सब्रेक्शन भी हो सकता है चलिए सेम साइन सो एड करो 14 प्लस थ्री सेवनटीन बड़ा नंबर 14 उसके आगे साइन देखो कुछ नहीं है मतलब प्लस सो यू कैन पुट प्लस और यू मे नॉट राइट नेक्स्ट फाइव या ब्रैकेट इज दस ओपन द ब्रैकेट 14 माइनस ट्वेंटी है ना डिफरेंट साइंस सब ट्रैक्ट ट्वेंटी में से 14 जाएगा तो सिक्स बड़ा नंबर 20 it carries minus sign so answer also will carry minus sign so it is minus 6 is that clear to you chaliye let's see here the two numbers are minus 5 and minus 2 and 5 is the operation multiplication the answer is yes if it is multiplication then you got answer yes straight away you multiply first what is 2 5 is a 10 ab aapko sign decide karni hai प्लस टेन या माइनस टेन अनलाइक वॉट वी डिड हियर इट्स नॉट सो बड़े नंबर की साइन प्लस है तो प्लस मत रखो आपको दोनों की साइन देखना है ये माइनस ये प्लस डिफरेंट साइन देन आंसर इज माइनस सर आंसर इज माइनस टेन नेक्स्ट द टू नंबर दैट यू कैन सी अ माइनस थ्री एंड माइनस सेवन वी हैव टू फाइंड प्रोडक्ट उसका मल्टीप्लीकेशन करना है Yes, तो मल्टीप्लाई कर दो पहले थ्री सेवन जार ट्वेंटी वन दैन डिसाइड द साइन ऑफ दिस प्रोडक्ट क्या वो प्लस ट्वेंटी वन होगा या माइनस ट्वेंटी वन होगा और राइट बड़े नंबर की साइन सेवन है तो यहां माइनस सेवन मत लिख देना दैट वी डू इन द एडिशन ओके सो सी साइन ऑफ बोथ द टर्म्स बोथ द नंबर दैट इज माइनस एंड यूर ऑल्सो माइनस सेम साइन सो प्रोडक्ट इज गोइंग टू बी प्लस विच वी मे नॉट राइट यहां देखो माइनस सेवन एंड माइनस टेन इज द ऑपरेशन मल्टीप्लीकेशन यस तू मल्टीप्लाई सेवन टेन जा सेवेंटी सी दिया साइंस सेम सो प्लस सेवेंटी नेक्स्ट द टू नंबर्स ऑफ फोर्टीन एंड थ्री इज द ऑपरेशन ऑन दिस टू नंबर्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन 
Yes. So multiply them. 14 threes are 42. Correct? See their signs. Same plus plus. Same. So plus 42. Chali. Next. Multiply. So 14 twenties are 280. See their signs. Same or different? Different. This is plus. This is minus. Different. So answer would be minus. So minus 280. Is that clear to you? This is what we are going to see here. Okay. Please be careful. The question is, expand or they might say simplify. Expand or simplify. First, and before that one more thing, root 5 into root 3, root 7 into root 28, root 12 into root 4. Same I am going to add. Root 5 plus root 3. Root 7 plus root 28. Root 12 plus, sorry, yeah, plus I will do here root 4. Uh, let me take here root 16. Root 16. Alright. Children, you have learned the laws of power. Like, a into B whole raised to M. Then you can say A raised to M into B raised to M. Power of product. Law of power of product. If it is 5 into 7 cube. Then you will write 5 cube into 7 cube. Can you recall that? Definitely. It is simple. Now how ulta hai. If it is A raised to M into B raised to M. See the exponent. It is common for both the powers. So we can say whole raised to M. Or jo bhi base hai, usko andar multiply kar sakte hai. Same thing here. If it is converse, ulta, 5 cube into 7 cube. The two powers have same exponent, same index. So you can say whole cube. Or under 5 into 7. So what? Yeah, exponent same. Hai. If you remember, children, 5, square root of 5 means 5 raised to half. Square root of 3 means 3 raised to half, 1 upon 2. Ab dekho, exponents are same. So you can say whole raised to half. And inside you can write 5 into 3. Now this exponent again symbolic form me lik denge. Square root, ko square root hai, 5 into 3. So when it is multiplication, you can write one square root or under ke number ko multiply kar sakte hai. This is multiplication. So you can convert two pro, uh, square roots into one and inside you can write 7 into 20. Product of two square roots. So one square root bana do or under lik do 16 into 4. And you getting me? But that is not true for addition. Addition mein aisa koi rule nahi hai. Aisa rule aapne padha hai kya? A raised to M plus B raised to M is A plus B whole raised to M. Aisa nahi hai. Addition mein aisa nahi hai. Subtraction mein bhi aisa nahi hai. So here, this is equal to square root of 5 plus 3. If you write that, it is wrong, not equal. Here if you write square root of 7 plus 28, then it is wrong. This is equal to square root of 16 plus 4. It is wrong. It applies only for multiplication and division. Division may be sahi hai. Lekin addition or subtraction may ye apply nahi hota hai. Is that clear to you? Alright. So we'll need that. So we just pre-prepared ourselves. Okay. Check. The question can be expand or simplify. 4 root 2 into root 2 minus 3. Now comes the expansion identity. Yes, aapke paas 4 root 2. Ek monomial hai. And root 2 minus 3. It's a binomial. So, how do we expand monomial into binomial? 
we distribute the monomials. Correct? So that is 4 root 2 into, you may write dot of multiplication sign, root 2. Correct? Same sign, so plus, no need to write. Again, 4 root 2 multiplied by 3, minus or plus, different signs. So here you put minus, here you put plus, a plus rakho, na rakho, chalega. Yeah, better, we won't write. Now be careful, 4 multiplied by root 2 into root 2. By root 2 into root 2 is root 2 square. Square of root 2. Square, square root gone. So answer is 2. So into 2 minus 4, 3 is 12. Multiply kari. Or ye root 2. Correct. 4, 2 is 8 minus 12. This is your answer. This is your expansion. Yeah, this is your simplification. Clear to you? Check. Second, okay. Fine. The next expansion is what? Binomial. Two terms of our expression. Binomial into binomial. Here we need to think little bit. What? Is it type A? Type B or yeah, type C. What we have seen in type A? First terms, all four terms are different. Type B, first term same, second term opposite. And type C, both all, yeah, first terms are also same and second terms are also same. Let's check out. 2 root 7 minus 3. 2 root 7, repeating. That means all terms are not different. First term 2 root 7, first term 2 root 7. Pahla binomial ka first term 2 root 7. Second binomial ka first term root 7. So what do you observe? Both the binomial has the first term same. What about the second terms? Minus 3 or plus 3. They are opposite. What is the rule? What is the expansion? First term square minus second term square. This expansion will be most frequently used. Be careful. Alright. Now what is first term? 2 root 7. What is second term? You don't have to see the sign. Expansion identity lag gai hai. 3. Now bataiye. Here also you have to be very careful. What is square of 2? 2 to za 4 into. What is square of root 7? Root nikal gaya. So 7. Minus. What is square of 3? 3 3s three are 9. Yes. Now 4 7s are 28. Minus 9. And 28 minus 9 is 19. So what is the simplification? What is the expansion? 19. So you got 19. Clear? Chal. Number 3. Interesting. What is the next expansion? It is also binomial. One, two, two terms in the bracket. So it is a binomial. In the next also two terms are there. So it's a binomial. So binomial into binomial. But then we have to carefully think which one will be applied. Are all terms different? Yes. 4 root 3 and root 3 are different. Root 2 and 2 root 2 are different. So all four terms are different. So how will you apply? Yes, distributive law. Take the first term equal to 4 root 3 into that second binomial 2 root 2 minus root 3. Then you take your second term. Jo bhi sign hai uske saath. Ya sign lena hai. Alright? Whenever you distribute signs are to be considered. Ye aapke direct formula hai. This is direct formula. Like in monomial into binomial, jahabi distribution karte hai, sign is important. So plus root 2 is your second term into that second binomial. 2 root 2 minus root 3. Okay? Again expansion. I mean distributive law. Yes. 4 into 2, 8. 
root 3 into root 2. Correct? Same sign. So plus. Again, 4 in 4 root 3 into root 3 minus plus different signs. So minus root 2 into 2 root 2 plus plus. Is kya ge bhi plus hi hai. Aur plus. Same sign. So plus. This. Now this. Root 2 into root 3. Root 2 into root 3. Minus or plus. Different signs. So minus. Now this is 8. Bataya tha mene. Do product hai. So 2 square root become 1. Or inside 3 into 2 minus 4 into. This is root 3 into root 3. Same. Root 3 square. Square square root gone. So 3 plus. Ye wala 2 into root 2 into root 2 root 2 square 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 root gone so 2 minus 1 root 1 root or inside 2 into 3 correct they are not same fine this is 8 root 6 minus 12 plus 4 minus root 6 and now, now there are pair of like terms children 8 root, root 6 minus root 6. See children, if you have 8x minus x, you can understand that well. They are like terms because of xx. Correct? So you can simplify. What do you see? Once again you see the sign. Same. Plus or minus. Different sign. So subtract. Yaha 8 hai. Yaha 1 hai. You can imagine here 1. So subtract karenge. 8 may say 1. 8 minus 1. 7. 7. Or wo x lik denge. 7x, but I term 8 plus, so that is equal to plus 7x. Same thing here. Jaise xx tha, yaha root 6, root 6 hai. So, first and the last terms are like terms. So, separate kar sakte hai. Ye plus hai, ye minus hai. What is the operation on 8 root 6 and minus root 6? Is it multiplication? No. So, that means addition. So, see the signs and add, and add or subtract. Yaha positive, yaha negative. So you have to subtract. What do you have to subtract? That small one, one here. You can here have one here. One you have to subtract from it. What is eight minus one? Seven. And that like term root six. So simplification is seven root six. Ab dono me se bada term eight positive. So this is plus seven root six. These are also a pair of like terms. They are constant terms. Different. Is it multiplication operation being performed here? No. So that means addition. So see the signs. Ye minus hai, ye plus hai. Different hai. So subtract karo. 12 mein se 4 subtract karo. Bade number mein se chote number ko subtract karo. So 12 minus 4 is 8. And the bigger number is minus. So minus. So that is the simplification. I hope it's clear to you. We'll see some more examples. Fine. Number 4. 3 root 7 minus 11 whole square. Alright. Bolo. What form of expansion is that? You can see only one binomial. Eh, no? But it is square. So this is type C. First term be same. Second term be same. It's like this. 3 root 7 minus 11 into 3 root 7 minus 11. First terms are same, second terms are also same. So, this is like m into m. So, we have written m square. Same bracket into same bracket. So, we have written bracket square. Alright. And what is the expansion identity? I will write here. Which may minus hai. So, a minus b whole square. Boli a square minus 2ab plus b square. That is the identity. Is that clear to you? Fine. So let's see. First term square. Use brackets nicely, children. First term square. Minus 2 into first term into second term. Plus second term square. Children, kya yaha aap kuch distribution kar rahe, distributive law use kar rahe? Nahi. So sign jo bhi aate hai, wahi rakhna hai. No, don't give importance of sign. Chali. What is first term? 3 root 7. First term, 3 root 7. Second term, no, don't give importance to the sign. 11. 
एंड सेकेंड टर्म इज इलेवन चलिए वॉट इज स्क्वायर ऑफ थ्री 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 इज नाइन वॉट इज स्क्वायर ऑफ रूट सेवन स्क्वायर और स्क्वायर रूट चला गया सेवन माइनस थ्री टू जा सिक्स सिक्स इलेवन जा सिक्सटी सिक्स और रूट सेवन प्लस इलेवन इलेवन जा वन ट्वेंटी वन ये सिक्सटी थ्री माइनस इलेवन सिक्सटी सिक्स रूट सेवन प्लस वन ट्वेंटी वन यू गॉट अ पेयर ऑफ लाइक टर्म्स ये कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म्स है ये भी प्लस ये भी प्लस बोथ आर प्लस सो एड वन ट्वेंटी वन प्लस सिक्सटी थ्री वन एटी फोर बड़ा नंबर प्लस सो दिस इज ऑल्सो प्लस एंड द रिमेनिंग टर्म इज सिक्सटी सिक्स रूट सेवन सो दिस इज द सिंप्लीफिकेशन या एक्सपांशन ऑफ दिस आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड बी केयरफुल ओके We'll see few examples from the textbooks. Let's see few examples from the textbook. Okay. Actually, they are very simple. All right. Four are enough then. Okay. so we we move to another concept and that is rationalization okay i'll give you for homework some questions or from the textbook illustrations and exercise you can do i write here what you have to do for homework right now rationalization children if it is माइनस टू एक्स प्लस टेन ऐसा एक बाइनोमियल है दर इज वन एक्सप्रेशन वन पोलिनोम नाउ देर आर सर्टन रूल्स चिल्ड्रन कुछ रूल्स होते हैं और राइट फॉलो करना ना करना इट डिपेंड्स ऑन अस बट मैथमेटिशियन ने एक रूल बनाया है कि वेन एवर यू एक्सप्रेस एनी पोलिनोमियल इट्स फर्स्ट टर्म शुड बी पॉजिटिव ओनली तो आप देख सकते हैं फर्स्ट टर्म नेगेटिव है सो एज पर द रूल ये जो सेकेंड टर्म पॉजिटिव है उसको पहले लिखना है वॉट इज द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर टर्म माइनस टू एक्स एंड इट इज नेगेटिव वॉट इज द सेकेंड ऑर्डर टर्म प्लस टेन एंड इट इज पॉजिटिव सो यू जस्ट रीअरेंज द टर्म्स द सेकेंड ऑर्डर टर्म प्लस टेन इज रिटर्न इन द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर तो प्लस लिखने की जरूरत नहीं है और लिख भी दिया तो कोई दिक्कत नहीं नो प्रॉब्लम ओके एंड फर्स्ट ऑर्डर टर्म गोज इन द सेकंड ऑर्डर विद साइन माइनस टू एक्स क्या यू मे राइट मे नॉट राइट सो नॉर्मली अ पोलिनोमियल इज एक्सप्रेस इन दिस वे द रूल इज द फर्स्ट टर्म हैज टू बी नेगेटिव सॉरी पॉजिटिव माइनस टू एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस प्लस फाइव एक्स माइनस इलेवन इज अनदर पोलिनोम ऑल राइट फर्स्ट टर्म इज नेगेटिव सेकेंड टर्म इज पॉजिटिव थर्ड टर्म इज नेगेटिव इफ पॉसिबल फर्स्ट टर्म पॉजिटिव होना चाहिए सो दिस सेकेंड ऑर्डर टर्म आई एम राइटिंग इन द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर टर्म आई एम राइटिंग इन द सेकेंड ऑर्डर थर्ड ऑर्डर टर्म रिमेन्स इन द थर्ड ऑर्डर But your first term is positive, so एक रूल है आप फॉलो करना चाहते आप ऐसा लिखना चाहते हो तो अच्छी बात है मैथमेटिशियन ने बताया कि ऐसे लिखो एक रूल बना दो ऐसा लिखना है तो भी लिख सकते हो इज दैट क्लियर रूल है कि नहीं आर यू गेटिंग मी इट्स लाइक वेन यू कम फ्रॉम द स्कूल यू हैव गॉट वेरी क्लियर इंस्ट्रक्शन फ्रॉम योर मदर वे वेन यू रिमूव योर शूज वे यू हैव टू प्लेस where you have to place uh, put your bag but then what you do you put it anywhere and poor mother has to place it in the right order correct so the rule is there but whether you follow or not depends on you okay let me talk about covid 19 this rule was from the very beginning when you come enter home from out you have to wash your hands and legs you are playing when you come to your house from the games again you have to wash your hands and legs but what happens you are playing outside in the society 
It's evening time. You come inside, mummy is cooking something hot. You will pick up and eat. Correct? <laughs> Without washing the hands. But COVID-19 has give us, given us a lesson. Now, even when not required, we'll wash our hands. Am I right? So that rule was there, wash your hands and legs as soon as you enter your house. We were not following. Sometimes we were following, sometimes we were not. But now we are completely following it. So, aisa kuch rules hota hai, jo aapko follow karna hai ya na karna hai, depends on you. Now you will follow it in this matter. Correct? So, waise hi, koi number hai, 2 upon root 5. Tell me whether it is rational or irrational. It is irrational because of this root 5. 5 is non-perfect square number. Or usko square root mein liya hai. So this is irrational number. Abhi ek aur rule hai. Pahli baat to, whenever you find irrational number in A upon B form. Apne A upon B form mein kuch irrational number mil gaya, especially in the denominator, to usko kehte hai sir. Then such expression is called sir. A upon B form containing some irrational number, square root, cube root, whatever. Then it is called sir. Aap dek sakte hai, denominator mein root 5 hai. Jaise humne dekha, just now we saw, any polynomial, in any polynomial, first term should not be expressed as a negative term. It should be always a positive term. Like that, here also one rule is there, whenever you have a sir in the denominator, you should never leave square root. Wo irrational number denominator mein nahi hona chahiye. To hum irrational number ko nikalenge. We will transform that irrational number into rational number. And that process is called rationalization. Ek baat mein bul gaya, minus 3x minus 11. Sir, ab kya karoge? Here, dono order ke term negative hai. Kuch nahi kar sakte. Murge ban ke bed jau. You can't do anything. Alright? Okay? So, fine. Here, the first term would remain negative. You will have to keep that as it is. Alright? Now, let's come to this point. This is third. In the denominator, there is irrational number. This irrational number... You have to convert into rational number. Ye irrational ko rational banana hai. For that rationalization, that process is called rationalization. Let's see how we rationalize this one. Hum kaise is denominator se irrational number ko gayab karte hai. Right? Now this is equal to 2 upon root 5 multiplied by 1. You can multiply any number by 1 because 1 is identity element for multiplication. Achha, dekhye, 2 upon root 5 into 1 is 2 upon root 5. It remains the same. Correct? Okay. Lekin, for 1, we can write anything we like. 11 upon 11, minus 3 upon minus 3, root 5 upon root 5, 2 plus root 3 upon 2 plus root 3. See, whatever you want, you can write same thing upon that thing. Delta upon delta, star upon star. <laughs> I am just writing this to understand. Huh? Actually, you cannot write like that. Okay. So, here, 2 upon root 5 into. Children, you want to get rid of root 5. It is monomial, just one term. All right. So write root 5. You can root 5 into root 5 will become 5. Root 5 square. So 5. So that root is gone. But then 1 is what? Root 5 upon root 5. Now in the numerator, 2 root 5. In the denominator, root 5 into root 5 is 5. Dek lijiye. That denominator which was irrational. Tha irrational. Ab ban gaya rational. Alright? So transforming the denominator from irrational to rational is known as rationalization. Your denominator is having irrational. So we rationalize denominator. 
Did you understand? Are you getting me? Chali. Next. Jara dekh lijiye, please. Okay. Thodi si practice. Yaha. Aapne dekha. In denominator you had root 5. So you multiplied and divided by root 5. Correct? Usko root 5 multiply karna pata hai. Suppose it is root 35. So what you need to multiply? Suppose it is root 8. Suppose it is root 27. Suppose it is root uh, 3. Now, see children. First you see this. 3 is prime. This is not prime. 8 is not prime. This is not prime. This is prime. If you have non-perfect square number which is prime, then straight away you multiply and divide by that. But if it is 35, you find out the factor. If it can be further simplified, 5 sevens are 7 ones are. Koi bhi pair nahi mila. We did not get pair of any prime factors. So iska kuch nahi ho sakta hai. So here you will multiply and divide by root 5. Uh, root 35 ko nikalne ke liye root 35 se hi multiply karna padega. Is that clear? Root 8. Let's look at root 8. 2, 4, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2. Oh, square. There is a pair of same factor, prime factor 2. So this can be simplified. This is 2 is out from the pair and root 2. 2 root 2. Abhi ye 2 to rational hai. Irrational part is only root 2, which is prime. 2 is prime. So here, you need to multiply only root 2 and not root, root 8. Some children what they do? Root 8 hai, to root 8 multiply karte hai. Root 27 hai, to root 27 se multiply kar dete hai. Root 3 hai, so root 3 se multiply kar dete hai. Yaha thik hai. Yaha bhi thik hai. Yaha bhi thik hai, kyunki it is already the simplified form only. Okay. लेकिन यहां ठीक नहीं है मल्टीप्लाई बाय रूट करने रूट 8 करना इसमें देख लो 27 3 9 जा 3 3 जा 3 1 जा अगेन इट कैन बी सिंपलीफाइड आउट ऑफ रूट स्क्वायर रूट से तीन बाहर निकल रहा है और एक तीन अकेला बचा हुआ अंदर सो नाउ दिस पार्ट इज रैशनल द इरेशनल पार्ट इज नॉट रूट 27 इरेशनल पार्ट इज ओनली 3 नाउ आफ्टर सिंपलीफिकेशन सो हियर यू विल मल्टीप्लाई रूट 3 to rationalize. Aapne samaj liya? Okay. Did you understand? Chaliye. Vahi application yaha kar dete hai. Kuch. Alright. Now see here please. Okay. That was when monomial. Monomial ho to aisa karna. Okay. Few examples dek lete hai. Question. Rationalize. The denominator. Rationalize the denominator. Alright. Fine. Uh, first, 2 upon root 7. Second, 3 upon root 50. Third, 4 upon 5 root 10. Take care. Please pay attention now. You can see in the denominator there is irrational number. Here also root 50 is irrational. Here also root 10 is irrational. 5 ko kuch mat karo. It is rational. Observe one thing. The non-perfect square number inside the square root is 7. 7 is prime. So you don't have to think. It is already simplified form. So this is 2 upon root 7, you can write multiplied by 1. Correct? That is 2 upon root 7 into. Boliye, root 7 kin se rationalize hoga. With what with, will root 7 rationalize? Root 7 se. So you are taking that 1 as root 7 upon root 7. Dekh lijiye, root 7 into root 7 is root 7 square. That is 7 square square root gone. और ऊपर रह जाएगा root 2 root 7. हमने कहा, denominator में root नहीं होना चाहिए. Otherwise, it is called third. Right? So, the denominator is rationalized. Challenge. Next. This is equal to 3 upon children 50. It is not prime number. So, check out. 
whether it is simplified further or not. 220 pi is a 5, pi is a 5 ones a. Yes, it can be further simplified because we got pair of prime factor pi. So pi comes out of the square root or root may reh gaya simply 2. Yes, multiplied by 1. So that is equal to 3 upon pi root 2. Chalye, what is the rationalizing factor of root 2? Sip root 2 is rational. Hai. What is the rationalizing factor? Root 2. So I multiply and divide by root 2. 1 ki jagah pe wo likh diya. Chalye, upper kya ho gaya? 3 root 2. Now this is interesting. 5 as it is. Root 2 into root 2. 2 into 2. So that is 3 root 2 upon 3 root 2 upon 10. So denominator is rationalized. Chalye, next. This is equal to 4 upon 5 into. Dekh lete hai. 10 is composite number. 2 pi za, 5 za. You did not get any pair of prime factors there. So root 10 ka aage simplification is not possible. So rationalizing factor will be root 10. Now I am going to skip one step. Multiplying one. Kyunki aapko abhi basic samaj mein aage hai. You have understood the basic. So I won't multiply 1 here. I'll just, okay, ye root 10, root 10 hi rehne wala hai, pi root 10. Thik hai? And the rationalizing factor is root 10. So here I multiply and divide by root 10. So in the numerator, you have 4 root 10. In the denominator, you have 5 as it is. And root 10 into root 10 is 10. Yeah, kuch simplification aage ho sakta hai. To karo. 2, 2 is 2 pi is Now it is simplified for. So 2 root 10 upon pi pi is 25. Correct? So this is rationalized. Denominator is rationalized. Denominator mein irrational tha. Denominator mein completely rational number mein gaya. That process is called rationalization. So we saw three sums where the denominator was a monomial. Now the denominator is a binomial. So, kya karna hai? What should be done? Let's see. Okay. Suppose 2 plus root 3. This is binomial. How to get rid of root 3? Aap bolenge, sir, multiply and divide by root 3 kar do. Oh, root 3 sa multiply kar do. So, root 3 will be distributed root 3 into 2, 2 root 3, root 3 into root 3, 3 plus, to usko expand kiya to ye mila, kya rationalize ho gaya, is there no irrational number here, there is, correct, so, wo to irrational hi ra, are you getting it, to kya kare, then what should we do, multiply another rational number, 2 plus root 3 multiply karo, so 2 plus root 3 whole square ho gaya. Square of first term 4 plus 2 into first term into second term plus second term square root 3 square. Root 3 square. Right? Okay. This ko bhi likh le tao. 2 square. Root 3 square. 2 square is 4. This is 4 root 3. Or ye plus 3. 4 plus 3 like term 7 plus 4 root 3. Children. Rationalize nahi hua. Still irrational number is there. So what shall we do? Kya kya jai? If it is a binomial. Yaha plus hai. To yaha minus le lo. Okay. Yeh binomial le lo. Bolo. First term same. Second term opposite. First term square minus second term square. First term is 2. Second term is root 3. 2 square 4 minus root 3 square 3. Gaya, gaya. Root is gone. 4 minus 3 is 1. So denominator is rationalized. So yaha se hame. We can conclude one thing. Hame ek cheez pata chale. Kya? Yadi binomial a plus b ho form. Ya a root b ho. So multiply and divide by a minus root b. Yadi binomial x minus root y ho. So if you want to get rid of root, 
मल्टीप्लाई एक्स प्लस रूट फाइव अपोन बाइनोमियल से ही मल्टीप्लाई करो लेकिन मिडल टर्म की साइन अलग लेट सी चल लेट सी फ्यू एग्जाम्पल ओके आई टेक इलेन फ्रॉम टेक्स बुक इट सेल्फ ओके दिस इज इलेन नंबर एटीन द क्वेश्चन इज रेशनलाइज द डिनोमिनेट वन अपॉन टू प्लस रूट थ्री Now see the denominator. It has a binomial. First term is two. Second term is plus root three. You have to get rid of root three. If you multiply root three, multiply and divide by root three. Root three into this binomial will not get rid of the irrational number. If you multiply the same binomial, still you will not get rid of this root three. But if you multiply root two minus root three. Then it does, right? Let's see. One upon two plus root three. Okay, for once again, I'm writing one here. That is equal to one upon two plus root three multiplied by. For this one, what is the rationalizing factor of two plus root three? Two minus root three. Same thing I'll write in the denominator. Two minus root three. So two minus root three upon two minus root three is one. Chal. Now one into two minus root three is two minus root three, and this a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square two k square or root three k square that is equal to numerator two minus root three denominator two square is four minus root three square is three two minus root three upon one upon one if you want to write or you don't want to write don't write. So that denominator is rationalized. There is no irrational left in the denominator now. So this is how we rationalize the denominator. Clear? Let's see example illustration nineteen. Right? And it is five upon root three minus root five. Look. The denominator has two irrationals, and it is having two terms, so it's a binomial. And binomial, which form is a minus b. So multiply, which form will we do? A plus b. Root three minus root five. So you will multiply and divide by root three plus root five. Once again, I am going to skip that uh, one step. This is three upon root three minus root five multiplied by one. But I am going to write directly that one. Is बोलिए root three plus root five root three plus root five. This is actually one. चल. Now here in the numerator you have monomial and you have binomial. Okay. Hold up on. Now this is binomial into binomial type B. First term same, second term opposite. So expansion is first term square minus second term square. Identity है. What is first term root three? What is second term minus root five? Yeah, root three or root five? Chal. Isko as it is rehne do. Three into root three plus root five upon square square root gone three minus square square root gone five. Yes, three into root three plus root five upon three minus five two. And greater pi with minus sign. So this, if you want, you can write minus niche bhi nahi, minus upper bhi nahi, minus beech me likho. And three upon two, three upper hai, two niche hai. And that binomial root three plus root three. So this is the answer. Denominator is rationalized. Or yaha aise hi chhod do. You can leave like this only. You can see there is no root in the denominator. So it is rationalized. All right. Now illustration number twenty. One upon seven plus three root two. Very interesting. Denominator has binomial, and in the binomial, the second term is having that irrational number two. Correct root two. Okay. So that is equal to one upon seven plus three root two multiplied by one. But instead of one, ये binomial a plus b है, तो मैं लिखूँगा 
ए ए माइनस बी ए क्या है सेवन और बी क्या है थ्री सेम थिंग आई हैव राइट आप सेवन माइनस थ्री रूट टू सो सेवन माइनस थ्री रूट टू अपॉन सेवन माइनस थ्री रूट टू इज दैट वन ओके वन इन टू ब्रैकेट दैट विल बी सेम अपॉन ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी सो दैट इज ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर ए इज सेवन बी इज थ्री रूट टू दैट इज इक्वल टू दिस रिमेन्स एज इट इज सेवन माइनस थ्री रूट टू दे आर अनलाइक टर्म्स सो फॉर सिंप्लीफिकेशन इज नॉट पॉसिबल स्क्वायर ऑफ सेवन फोर्टी नाइन माइनस स्क्वायर ऑफ थ्री दैट इज नाइन इन टू स्क्वायर ऑफ रूट टू दैट इज टू दैट इज सेवन माइनस थ्री रूट टू अपॉन फोर्टी नाइन माइनस एटीन सो सेवन माइनस थ्री रूट टू फोर्टी नाइन माइनस एटीन बड़े प्रेम से साइड पे कर लो वी डोंट वॉट एनी मिस्टेक सो दैट इज थर्टी वन और कुछ भी तो कैंसल चिल्ड्रन सब चिल्ड्रन है तो कैंसिल भी नहीं होता है सब कुछ के यहाँ थर्टी फाइव होता तो सेवन वन जाने सेवन फाइव जा ऐसे कैंसिल करते हैं नहीं चिल्ड्रन ये दो टर्म से कनेक्टेड है हाँ सेवन इंटू वन माइनस थ्री रूट टू देन यू कूड हैव कैंसल सेवन वन जा सेवन फाइव जा लेकिन यहाँ तो कैंसलेशन होता ही नहीं है वैसे भी कैंसलेशन होता ही नहीं है क्योंकि यहाँ तो थर्टी है ओके okay? लेकिन यहाँ थर्टी फाइव होता तो सम चिल्ड्रन वॉट दे टू सेवन वन जा सेवन फाइव जा थर्टी फाइव देखें so this is the rationalized form of example 20 okay so that's enough for today we end up this session but before that you note down your homework you have to do exercise 1.5 question number 1 question number 2 and question number 5 only this question 1 jisme You will find five sub questions, question two, four sub questions, and question five, four sub questions. In question, first question, you have to classify as rational or irrational. Second question, you have to simplify or expand. And in the third question, you have to rationalize the denominator. I hope you had a good session. We end up the session here. Bye bye for now.